with Christmas coming up, I wanted to focus a little bit on some themes, some stories that have the Christmas top theme. And I found this story yesterday. I found this on a web page called Our Black Girls. And I found this woman's story and I wanted to share it. Her name is Vev Beverly Mitchell. A holiday celebration for a Georgia family turned into a years-long mystery. On December the 25th, 2017, Beverly Mitchell of Decatur, Georgia, was reportedly visiting a family member's home for Christmas. Details regarding this case are unknown because finding out anything and what may have happened to her almost four years ago has been impossible. Well, it's been six years ago now. Like many cases I've covered, there seem to be there don't seem to be any real news reports, at least ones that I could find online. Most websites that have acknowledged this case carry the same information, and I've said this before too. Someone will put out a news report, and every news organization picks that up and shares it. They don't, they don't really um, investigate or do their own research to go out and um, interview people to get more information on the story. Most websites that have acknowledged this case carry the same information consisting of one sentence that Beverly was with relatives and was never seen again. When she may have left the residence, if she drove her own car or got a ride from someone, or if she walked away, none of this information has been shared. Additionally, any information regarding her home and work life is also unknown. What do we know about Beverly Mitchell? At the time of her disappearance, she was, and she was, she was five foot five inches tall, and weighed 140 to 150 pounds. She had black and dark brown hair and dark brown eyes. Her hair was actually worn in braids or a ponytail, and she was known to wear hazel contacts, contact lenses. She had a scar on her forehead and a split left earlobe and a large gap between her two front upper teeth. No one knows exactly what clothing she was last seen wearing. Beverly was 55 years old when she disappeared. She would be 60 today, 61 years old today. Anyone with any information about her is urged to contact the Cobb County Police Department at 770-499-3958. Please share this story about Beverly to help reignite the investigation. Her life matters, and the fact that there was very little about her online is disturbing. I looked on some other websites to try to gather more information on Beverly, and like the other articles said, there wasn't a whole lot about her. She's been missing since December the 25th, 2017, from Decatur, Georgia. Her birthday is May the 22nd, 1962, making her 61 years old. She's 5 foot 5 inches tall and 150 pounds. She usually wears her hair in braids or a ponytail. And just like the other article said, um, her clothing that she was wearing that night are unknown. Did they go and speak to anyone who was at this family member's home? Um, if she had gone to this family gathering, someone there's going to notice what she had on, what clothing she had on. The reason that that's important is that if they were to find remains... Um, at this point, if she has died and remains were found, the clothing might be more important than her appearance because of decomposition. She was last seen at a relative's home, 
and she has never been heard from again. That is all there was on that article. That's on the Charlie Project. This is from Web Sleuth. So I'm going to see what they have. Google is not turning up any information for me. I had to search the Name Us website to find it. Google brings up a result that doesn't take me to her page, and I thought maybe it had been removed. So they're saying that a, a deceased person was found, and they're wondering if that could be her because the teeth are similar. She did have a large gap between her front teeth. It was October the 31st, failure to stop at a stop sign. She did not pay the ticket, so they're saying that she had an outstanding ticket. This could be the reason why she was not driving. But that's unknown in the other articles, whether or not she was driving. I think two months is more than enough for remains to become skeletal in a warm climate like Georgia. Who claimed to see her might be important. Was it her ex that she had a violent past with or someone else? Now, some people on Web Sleuths really went above and beyond and really did some digging into Beverly's life. They found quite a bit of, and I'm not here to say anything bad about the victim or whatever the case may be here, but they found quite a colorful past that she had quite a few charges for traffic violations, some for driving without insurance and those types of charges. She actually had an ongoing charge that happened on Halloween of 2017, just two months before she went missing. That was for a traffic violation. I think she had a fine and did not show up to court or to pay the fine. I don't know if that has anything to do with her disappearance or not. There were some charges earlier in her life that go to um, back to the 80s when she was charged with some um, drug charges, possession, uh, distribution, and there was uh, at least one charge that was related to sex work. And the only reason that I'm telling this part of this about her is that some people have asked the question if she might still have been involved in that lifestyle. Could it be that she met up with someone that night? Or, you know, I know that she had had some domestic violence with her ex and she had filed for a divorce from him. This was probably some several years. Web Sleuths, someone did some uh, research on her background and it showed that she had been a plaintiff in a case against a um, elevator company. And it says that this case was filed in 2013 and that the case was closed out in 2007 or 2014, rather. It just says that the case was terminated. It doesn't say whether or not she won a settlement or if the case was dropped. And there's really very little else about that. There was just some background um, that someone had you know, she had filed a um, claim against someone for unpaid rent. They believe it could have been a roommate. The only thing she had ongoing that anyone brought up was that she had an ongoing case against her. Um, it was just a charge that was against her in 2000. Um, that was on Halloween of 2017, the year she went missing. So about two months before she went missing, um, she had gotten a charge against her for uh, running, I think it was for running a red light. It just says that she didn't show up for court and that she didn't pay the fine. Some people are asking the question, did, maybe did she go missing before Christmas? Um, who claimed to have seen her at Christmas? Whose house was she supposed to have gone to? Was there a missing person report ever filed on her by her family? Or was this something that the court took action because she failed to appear? 
the property that she was living at was listed for rent in November of 2017, which would have been about a month before she actually went missing. It sounds like she might have lost her housing around the time and that she might have been living with a, a man in a, a house that was listed as three bedrooms. Her name us page has been removed. This tells everyone on Web Sleuths the overall general idea or thought is that either she was found or it was just a case of the courts might have listed her as missing because she failed to show up. I'm not real sure what all that is about. I just know that some people are suggesting that she may have hidden away somewhere because she was named as a co-defendant and was supposed to come to court in January of 2018. Um, it's possible that she was never really missing, but... On March 30th, 2019, a black woman's remains were found on a boat dock by a fisherman on Buckhead Trail in Knoxville, Tennessee. She was estimated to be around 55 to 70 years of age with gray or partially gray hair. According to the forensic center, she weighed around 105 to 150 pounds. She was between 5'2 and 5'5. She was wearing undergarments, pants, a long coat, sequins, sequined mittens and a beanie. Some people have asked and speculated if this might possibly have been Beverly Mitchell. I don't know if they've ever done any forensic testing. I don't know if Beverly had um, children or family members who put in their DNA or if the police in either of these two cities, uh, Georgia where she went missing from or Tennessee, where this woman's remains were found. I don't know if they got together and compared, you know, notes or DNA or whatever. I haven't been able to find anything about that. I went on to Web Sleuths. There were quite a few people on there asking the same questions, and I couldn't find any kind of update on her. I couldn't find any update on who this lady might have been. So that's a that's a looming question, is, is if this could possibly have been her. And if it did turn out to be her, how did she end up in Knoxville, which is really not that far from Georgia. But what happened to her? She went missing Christmas 2017. And this lady's remains were found in um, March of 2019. It doesn't say here how long they believe she may have been deceased. I'm going to look into her case and see if I can find anything more on her. But that's just a possibility that, you know, if they have done DNA testing to rule her out. That's really all I could find on those cases, but I'm going to continue to look through some different websites and if their names come up or if any more information on their cases come up, I will come back and do a recap or a follow-up. I appreciate everyone who took the time to watch my videos. I do appreciate all my uh, subscribers. I appreciate everyone who watches. And um, thanks for watching.